Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today we got snow. I was I was answering my comments, came into the kitchen because I get a little chilly when I'm sitting there, even though I have a real heavy sweater on at the time, and I have a little um, heater that I have on that's supposed to just heat me. And I sit there and I have another cup of coffee. Well, I stood up instead of sitting. And I turned around and I happened to look out the window and I go, oh my goodness, when did it start snowing? And this was around, oh, around 3.30, I think it was. Oh my, I, I noticed my nose itches. Oh, Jim was sneezing and my nose itches. So that's... It actually started uh, around noon. Around noon it started snowing. Well, late, I didn't notice. Late, late. I was so involved in commenting. I got a lot of comments on my um, snake gourd and I did look up those links that people gave me and I read them and I printed the um, one I printed out. I think the one that Bob sent me, I printed that out because it was really interesting about the, the snake gourd. And I will next year pick them when they're much smaller because that was really too too big. I'm going to try to dry them. I've been watching a lot of videos on how to dry gourds and I'm hoping that these will dry up. We're going to hang them probably in the basement. It says it's supposed to be between um, 55 and 65 degrees in a dry space. And it's dry down there. And it's about that temperature, between those two temperatures. And it takes about six months to dry. So we'll see what happens. I did dry my seeds. I've got them all laid out and they're dried. Um, the seeds I had from from um, Papa Pepper were dark, weren't they? I wonder why my seeds are white. Hmm. It changed its, it changed its color. <laughs> it changed its shape. Maybe it's a different, maybe it's a new breed of a snake, snake gourd. I don't know. Because most of them, they grow where it's really hot and it's not real hot here. And they grow where it's a lot drier and it's not real dry here. It's wet. And, um, very rich, very rich. and I had really rich soil. It was in the richest of soil that you could ever find, probably. Great compost pile. Yesterday's video, I don't know if you noticed, I was missing an earring in part of it. Yesterday we had, um, I happened to be watching um, part of the ones that I had taped, and I go, am I missing an earring? And I reached up, and I, sure enough, I was missing an earring. And so um, I put on a video from the day before because I thought, I wonder, or earlier that day, because I wonder if I had lost it when I was out chasing a rooster or if I lost it before I went out for the rooster. Well, I did the video before the rooster thing. And so I had it, I had lost it by then. So it was in the house somewhere. I don't know if I'm making sense. Boy, it's like... <laughs> I've confused myself. Well, the, the earring was in the house. It wasn't out uh, on the yard because we had gone around the whole outer fence and we were on the inner fence and we were all over the place because uh, the, my roosters could fly. I have never clipped their wings, but normally they don't try to go out unless they think they're being chased. And one of them flew out and then the other one flew out and they got caught. They, they went to live at their new home. So I am just have the one, I'm hoping I just have one. I thought I only had one before and I had two more that showed up. And what happened is when the one rooster left, then one of the others decided that, now I'm top rooster and so it's, it got real tall and it started to get the saddle feathers, the side saddle feathers, and um, was doing his little Mexican hat dance or whatever you wanna call it, his little challenge dance with another one. And I go, you know, I thought you were a rooster too, but now I know you're a rooster. And so the two roosters left, and I have just the little bantam rooster. That one I want to keep, and I'm hoping it's nice to me, and I'm nice to my girls. Right now I've got a couple of them that are molting. They've got, they look like the cartoon characters where the feathers are missing from their neck because they're, they're starting to... And this is not a good time to be molting. It's cold outside. But apparently it's doing it. Last year I had one molt. 
And this year I've got only, I think, one molting. They are supposed to do it on their third season. And with getting them all at the same time, I would have thought they all would have done it at the same time. But apparently they're taking their turn at molting. And their egg production has gone down because I don't put extra lights in their um, house. I don't want them to have to have that light shining. It would be like me trying to sleep with the light on. It wouldn't be very good. So their, their hours of daylight are less. Today I got two eggs. Yesterday I think I got two eggs. I've been getting maybe two instead of five and six and seven. So the egg production is down. And they're eating less too. I noticed that the food is still in the dish even though they go outside. Um, they used to clean up the dish real well and they used to clean up outside also. Well now the dish has extra food in it so I probably could cut back a little bit on the food until they empty their dishes again. We helped um, or we have a freezer that's in the barn and it was stuff that was from my mother's when she when she moved here she, she her, we brought her little freezer and a lot of the things that she froze so we pulled out a few of those things and because they're so old I can either cook them up or if it's like lunch meat I just thaw it and cut it up and give it to the chickens oh excuse me so I did that I also watched, now this is a good, this video made me smile for a long time. I was watching Motorcycle Mama. Now Jackie did a little skit with her daughter and it was so cute. In fact, I'm going to show it to Jim as soon as we're done with this, when I'm done with this video. He's going to have to watch her. I watched it actually twice and it was so, it was, it was cute. It was really cute. And Jackie... I make the same kind of desserts that you offered. <laughs> and it was funny. It was so darn cute. And I liked, I just, you got to watch it. I don't want to tell it because it was too cute. And if I tell it, then nobody will watch it. But they should go watch it. So it's Motorcycle Mama, and I will put her um, link below so that you can find it. And you can go over and have a good smile. It's really cute. And I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.